What does it mean to be dependable? It means you do what you say you'll do time and time again. That's why the cattlemen of this great nation trust Ritchie to provide fresh water on demand. Ritchie, proud to be a partner to the American cattlemen since 1921. Hello, I'm Marcus Bricks with the Cattle Facts Closing Bell, brought to you by Ritchie Watering Systems. On November 2nd, the U.S. Energy Information Agency released their weekly petroleum status report, a well-followed data set of energy production figures. Domestic crude oil production for last week was shown to be at 8.52 million barrels per day, up from 8.50 in the week prior. Since July, production has been within a level range of 8.42 and 8.60 million barrels per day. During the same time frame in 2015, weekly production was slowly tapering down, declining from July to October, and then declining again from January to July of this year. At one point this summer, year-over-year -year changes to domestic weekly crude production were roughly 1 million barrels per day smaller. Averaged over the past six weeks of data, year-over-year -year production is only down 634,000 barrels. Although that gap has narrowed recently, production has been considerably lower in 2016, which easily could have put a drain on crude oil and storage. The November 2nd report showed 482.58 million barrels of crude in domestic inventories, and that's not including oil in the Strategic Petroleum Reserve. This week's data highlighted a 14.4 million barrel weekly increase, the largest weekly increase on record, taking out the previous record of 9.3 million from 2012. Helping the large rise in crude stocks was a surge in imports last week, which showed nearly 2 million barrels per day of more crude coming in than the week prior. Imports slowed drastically at the height of the shale oil boom, but have returned to near average throughout 2016. Year over year, on a weekly basis, crude oil imports are up by 8.74%. The extra product source internationally is how, despite over 12 months of trending lower production, crude oil inventories remain record large. Outside of seasonal behavior, inventories haven't experienced much of a decline, yet the year-over-year -year gap will continue to shrink into December. In January 2015, inventories were still rising, so comparing inventories on January 1, 2016, you'd find 16% larger volume in storage. Even with the record large inventory gain last week, the year-over-year -year difference with 2015 is only an increase of 5% today. Thanks for watching. Remember to visit cattlefacts.com to become a member and receive the latest market news and analysis. The beef business has never been for the faint of heart. The pressures are real, the risks are high, but the opportunities have never been greater. So how do you sort through it all to decide which way to go? For more than 40 years, Cattlefax has led the way. Become a member at www.cattlefax.com. We're the time-proven leader in research, analysis, and information. Equipped with the industry's most powerful database, our team is impartial, objective, our vision is global, and our focus is you. Cattlefax, the deciding factor.